So this is my battery setup right now. I have 30 kilowatt hours total usable. So let's see. This is a 60 amp hour pack, 3 kilowatt hours. And this is 4.5 kilowatt hours, 90 amp hours at cells. And this is 60 amp hours, also 3 kilowatt hour pack. I connected these all together. Here is a 400 amp shunt. I made the system 400 amp capable. So this is very overkill wire. And this is my Nissan Leaf. Sells 35 pieces. 5 in parallel and 7 in series. So, 14S back. I use this fuses. This is 250 amp fuse and nice thick, um, thick cables I made myself. These I connected. I made this copper bars from copper pipe the voltage fits perfectly this is 14S Lion and this is 6, 16S Life Power 4 and this all connected together this leaf leaf backfire goes to here this is plus side and this is also using 64, 63 amp fuse these PMSs I have to use here too I have to make them for this spec too and this is terminals where I connect everything this is minus terminal and plus terminal and 400 amps shunt here to MPPT solar charge controllers and he, here I connect my inverters uh, I have four inverters, 4.2 kilowatt power, and it uses maximum 100 amps. So I use these 100 amp fuses. Here I connect my inverters. I have two inverter connected right now. I don't need uh, more, but in future I need um, think more. If you look here, I have my four inverters. One, two, five, four. It's a very good price. 4.2 kilowatts and pure sine wave and 590 euros piece. And here are my 1.5 and 1.5. Total 3 kilowatt hour 18650 packs. These I made portable so I can take it anywhere and use it on lawnmower or e bike and 
when I'm not using I just connect it to here together with my off-grid system inside uh, there is Panasonic 18650PF uh, cells 168 inside one and inside two these portable batteries are not uh, ready yet I have to make a case for them I think I make uh, metal Ali aluminum case so it's safer this I connect here if I want to charge my my off grid battery from external source like generator or something but if I have to Consider if I connect this to off grid battery, the voltage must be same. So if they're not same, I can use some resistors or something like that to equal equalize the voltage. And this is my vo voltage divider. Uh, I can't con configure enough to write voltage for this. MPP charge controller, so I have to fake the voltage so it thinks that it's 2 volts lower so I can charge to 58 volt because it doesn't let me to configure to over 56 volts so this has separate voltage input and I can fake this this to charge it to think that uh, the voltage the battery is two volts lower and these are LED light I made myself 3 watt LEDs and 17 in series directly to my off grid battery so no drivers needed And it seems it works very nice, not warm at all and very bright. So here is more LiPo4 batteries I had left over. I plan to add these two to my off-grid system. I don't know how well they work together. I think to make 16S back from them. So this is, these are Winston and these are Win A, old cells, used them on my e-bike about one year and they are pretty half the capacity left. This is also an old e-bike bike pack. I think life power is not for e-bikes or electric cars there's no point anymore because uh, 18650s are two times lighter and two times cheaper so I plan to put all my life before cells to off-grid system and use 18650s for my e-bike and so on if you want to charge very cheaply one cell uh, and high current so you can use just PC power supply 5 volts and connect it directly to life power battery about 2 meters 6 millimeter wire so the current is just right for PC power supply it gets very warm so I think it's maybe 25 amp load so you can use PC power supply as one cell 25 amp charger and you can get very low price this PC power supply I got uh, 50 cents per piece about uh, 50 pieces this so I can use this everywhere 
I soldered all five volt connectors together and here I made this switch to switch PC power supply on and XT60 connector to connect my battery. This is universal so I can disconnect this and use another PC power supply. 5 volts output. Here I connected all cells in parallel and just charge this with my PC power supply. One important thing you must uh, watch voltage or use some kind of alarm or something that it doesn't go over voltage because PC power supply charges to 5 volts and 5 volts it's too much for life power. This is all temporary. I plan to build a separate shed for batteries 